Howdy Uncles, how's it looking? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Monster Prom, where our goal is to smooch some monsters. I'm here with my special guest, Harajuku Oji. Take it away! Hell yeah! So if you don't know what Monster Prom is, it's a dating game that you can play co-op. And right now, Sharky is after a fishy mermaid princess with psychopathic tendencies called Miranda. And I'm after Vera a beautiful business savvy gorgon with <laughs> with a sharp stare and a cold personality without further ado let's get into it hi stranger it's been a while i've missed you it's okay you can look at all my stuff you know what my favorite thing in the world is people who buy my stuff be one or be gone hey i, I can click on this place knowing she's not there <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> that day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Many people fall during the battle. You can't take any more. So you valiantly go straight to the other team's leader and start negotiations for a truth. After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist. You gain 10 righteousness, but this game is so wrong in so many ways that you would be lucky if you could do anything with that. Enter Chum. Look at the skeleton guy in the back and be like, Yeah! 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 Your performance in that game earns you a position as the first pick on Vera's team for the next game. Sweet. When you get over to her side of the court, though, you notice her furrowed brow. She's having trouble choosing the next player. Hey there. As much as I'd hate to admit it, I brought you over here because I need your help. You see, my acceptance at the top tier business school is riding on this game. Everyone knows business school hates losers and dodgeball is basically the new golf. I need to assemble a killer team, but my skills lie in discerning people's weaknesses, not their strengths. That's where you come in. Help me pick the best team, and I'll be sure to remember you fondly when I'm crushing pones with my a business degree. Picking teams is your jam. You whisper in Vera's ear. Pick all the worst players. If we win, you're a god for leading losers to victory. If we lose, it's their fault. Don't pick any of those chumps. I'll just hire us a team of homicidal dodgeball supermen who used to be mercenaries. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> want to do that. I'll do that one then. I hope I'm rich enough. Yeah! Solving problems through unfair application of capital? Just the thing a business schools are looking for. Hire away! You make a call to your preferred mercenary provider, and pretty soon you've got a team of hobgoblins who look like they could beat the shit out of the moon. Despite the other team's protests, the game begins. It lasts 14 seconds. As the ambulance crew arrives to clean up the wreckage, Vera winks at you. In the end, what matters most is that we worked together as a team. Yep, that's the moral of the story. Alright, you gained two fun. One ch- One chat. One, one chat. One chat. Hell yeah, I've got <laughs> so much chat. <laughs> you weren't gonna let me redo that one? <laughs> no, that's good enough. <laughs> Everybody choose an animal, say your choice out loud. Um, penguin. Shark. Play order is decided based on how cute a video where a charming cat becomes friends with the selected animal would start. Uh, would be. Start debating now. Um, Shark. It would be cute, but also. Shark. How is the cat supposed to come friends? Supposed they have to have a little scuba diver outfit. That's not. That's not right for a cat. 
It would, it's, it would be cute and adorable. I'd have a little, I'd have a little, 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 little old-fashioned scuba diver outfit with a big, big round head on it. Yeah. Um. Animal. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah, that doesn't sound like animal abuse. You're literally your making a story the about two of them becoming friends, and you're talking to me about fucking animal abuse. Let me win one. No! <laughs> you suck! It would be so much cuter a penguin and a cat. Being How? Cats. How would that be cuter? It would be cuter because it's more believable. It would not be cuter. And you wouldn't have it to would literally just be Madagascar if they didn't have the zebra, the hippo, or the fucking giraffe. <laughs> and is that not a cute story? No! Is Madagascar not a cute story? The shark wins! Fuck you. <laughs> I'm actually so annoyed because of that doesn't make sense. Oh my goodness, so well. I guess I should try and... Oh, <gasps> pizza! <laughs> you come up... Jesus Christ, you come upon Damien. Oh. <laughs> you come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silverware spread while her eating serfs chow down obediently at the neighboring table. Fuck, what was Damien's voice? It was just like angry, wasn't it? Yeah. I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and shit. I mean, even the knives don't really look that deadly. Silly boy, this silverware is not for killing. Things can be for stuff other than killing? That's lame as hell. It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. Your serfs do it for you. Well, of course they do. But they're not using any of your silverware. Naturally they aren't. Serfs must eat with their hands, as befits the lower classes. So you're saying the silverware collection has no particular purpose? Things have practical purposes? These two could go round and round like this forever, unless you say something to resolve this dispute. Damien's right, Mary. Maybe it is time you started murdering people with your silverware. Or, lay off Miranda, Damien. What about your collection of exotic corpses? <laughs> That's Help. different. Those corpses are useful. How? Useful for what? For, for holding down important documents. What important documents? Documents about very important... Ah, oh, fine! I guess I don't use the stripper corpses for any fucking thing. I just stack them in a shed and they occasionally dress them up in silly costumes. There! Are you happy? Extremely. Whatever! I'm gonna go play with my corpses. You stay behind with Miranda to admire her collection. She even teaches you how to use the romance fork. Smooth. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. Vera. Oh, pizza. Oh, pizza for me too. You take your seat and... If you didn't know any better, you would say that it seems like Vera and Polly are almost more interested in their phones than they are in you. And you do know better. And you know that, yes, that is exactly what's happening right now. Hey there. It's nothing personal, OG. It's just that Polly and I are very engrossed in texting our financial slaves. Yay! Yeah, it's pretty hard to compete with some guy whose fetish is buying you anything you want. That's my fetish too. Not buying things for people, having people buy things for me, duh. Good thing is rich enough to take care of both of us. You know what they say, true friendship is sharing, secrets and financial slaves. 
Still, I do worry that this arrangement might not be sustainable. What happens if he runs out of money? Our cash flow instantly stops. Besides, being handed everything you want on a platter, in this case the platter is an online money transferring platform, is almost boring. Yeah, I get it. It's a little less boring when you're on as much acid as I am right now, but I see what you mean. If we could somehow turn this into a business venture, then maybe it would get interesting and we could continue to profit even after he's gone broke from catering to our every whim. I mean, how interesting do you think business actually is? Since he's so obsessed with us, we should just tell him to do something totally insane and see if he does it. I don't know, a weirdo giving away his money and getting into hijinks is great and all, but I want to start making real money. And I think money is fine and all, but my favourite currency is chaos. Hmm, seems like the ladies are at a very exciting crossroads. Maybe a random bystander can give them a nudge in the right direction. You can easily grow this arrangement into a business. Just escalate and delegate. Have the financial slaves go and acquire his own financial slave to give him money and have that financial slave go and find a financial slave. On and on and on. Ah, pyramid <laughs> scheme! Tell him to marry a llama! Which one are you gonna choose, <laughs> That one is so chaotic, but I've got to go for Vera. And Vera will like this option. Aha, that would increase our income exponentially immediately. Which are two of my absolute favourite adverbs when it comes to monetary gain. I mean, one financial slave between the two of us is already strangely a lot to handle, so managing an army of them sounds draining. But so long as it's a pyramid scheme and we're at the top of the pyramid, we don't have to actually deal with the low lives. Who cares? Meh. I think I'll just go check on my toilet wine. Don't worry about her. Polly wouldn't know a good business idea if it slapped her on the ass. Which happened one time, actually, but it's a long story, so forget it. Anyway, we can tell people in order to become official certified financial slaves and they have to buy a kit of supplies. And they'll start at Dirt Slave and then if they get five financial slaves under them, they can become a pathetic ground slave and then they can work their way all the way up to Gold, Diamond, Platinum, Slachow, Mocha, Ground, Supreme Slave. That was a great idea, OG. Oh, we should go write the business plan together and prepare to profit. Did... Did Vera just say she wants to... Profit? With you? Holy shit! Vera's sharing her cash flow? Is like, third base for her. Awesome. Everybody choose a brand! Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. I'm gonna go with... Yamaha. I'm going to... go... with... A Disney. A player order is decided based on how a normal it would be to name your first child after the selected brand. What's your brand again? Yamaha. Ah. Uh. Um. I mean, if we're going to be honest here, both of them, there is definitely kids named both of them. Yeah, probably. Disney probably more so than Yamaha. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon there'd be more people. Fucking, you got... There'd be more people naming their kids Disney. You won one! Hell yeah! You won I one! officially won one! Woo! One one was one racehorse. 
You get the choice. Until I shot them in the hoof. Okay, um, boop, 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 boop. Uh, let's see, what are my stats at? That's not my stats, these are my stats. Ooh, um, yeah, blue's my stats. Yes, blue's your stats. You don't need to hold it on there, your stats stay up the top. Do you want money? Do you want charm? Money or smarts want... right now? Well, I want money. Well, I'll go smarts. I'll be nice, because I'll go money next round. That day you learn a ton of spells that are all as cool as they are seemingly useless. A spell to renew stickers stickiness? A spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate ice cream. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> a spell to gain two... Sorry. A spell to gain a plus two smarts. You actually use that spell and you gain plus two smarts. <laughs> You're fucking around on your cell phone when you see a couple of your classmates fucking around on their cell phones too, but louder. And with more aggravation. Oh fuck, haven't seen him in ages, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me remember. Paulina, this is an institution of learning, and I'm finding it increasingly difficult to concentrate with you making tigers appear everywhere constantly. <laughs> <laughs> They'll soon overrun the school. I find it simply abhorrent the amount of money you are funneling into Tiger when an app advertises itself as free but then gets you addicted and causes you to end up paying more and more money. Minus 99 monies at a time. That's just... Awesome. Exploitative of the weak willed. And I love it, exploiting the weak willed, but I prefer it when you do it with me? What's so special about Tiger anyway that you're just blowing all your money on it rather than investing in our schemes? Um, where to even begin? The premium features are dope. You can design the stripes on your Tiger, pick custom colours, pick whisker size and strength. You can find out whether or not a tiger has super liked your profile and what picture is favorited. Don't get me wrong, that's not that I, uh, it's not that I necessarily want to date a literal actual tiger. I just want to know if the literal actual tigers want to date me as they should. <laughs> the fuck? They're <Sorry>. great. <laughs> you must realize how insane that sounds. I mean, hearing it out loud did sound pretty whack, I guess. Plus, if the tigers get hungry and start eating people, and honestly, it's shocking that they haven't done that already, we won't have anyone to rip off. Right, because the tigers will be ripping off their arms and legs. Good point. I'll just delete the app and get rid of the tigers. There. Deleted. And yet, there. Tigers. Here. Tigers. Everywhere. Tigers. <laughs> huh? I wonder why that didn't work. Maybe because getting rid of downloadable content on a phone in no way destroys living flesh and blood beings in the real world. But you know what might actually work? For every tiger in the school, release three anteaters, the natural enemy of tigers, as everyone knows. Um... <laughs> have Coach talk to them. He's a tiger, right? Or like a tiger-adjacent something? Um... <laughs> I don't... I don't know I don't either. Know. Both of these are like... I don't even know if these are for people. Is this just a choice? I don't know. I kind of want to release anteaters. Do it. I, I, I have Do it. Ah! Ugh. Ew. That's okay, I got more smart. Ah, a brilliant solution. I happen to have an anteater supplier that brings me fresh anteater eggs, one of the finer, more obscure delicacies of the world. I'm sure he can bring some by the school. And you're sure that anteaters don't lay eggs and someone has been exploiting Liam, but since it's benefiting you, in this case, you might as well let it slide. 
Before long, Liam's anteater-egg dealer has shown up with a veritable army of anteaters. The anteaters go through every corridor and corner of the school, driving out the tigers, whether they, wherever they may hide, with their long tongues, poor eyesight, and penchant for eating termites. All of which tigers hate! Duh! Didn't you know that about tigers? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> the anteaters are also generally useful around the school, eating all the insects that the crazy Martin the Werebear janitor doesn't have time to get rid of since he's always so busy dealing with your fucking antics that he's left with very little time to actually perform maintenance on the school. Damn, these anteaters are awesome! You can- you go girl, get those insects, clean those cobwebs, chase those tigers! You know, Polly, enough people have downloaded that tiger app. I bet as the fad dies, there are going to be a lot of people looking to get rid of that app and their tigers. I think I know where you're going with this. Good. We should re-download Tiger and start a second round of the app's popularity. Hey, <laughs> no. This is what we should be spending our money on. We need to make our own Tiger-style app, which allows you to rent ant eaters to get rid of any ants, termites, or tigers you might have laying around. Hell yeah! That's way better than my idea. We can call it... <laughs> you need to tear. <laughs> Is that how you would say that? You need to... You need to... You need to tear. You need to tear. Okay. Yin Hell yeah. That's way better than my idea. We can call it... You need to tear. And remember to advise that their eggs are also rare and delicious. Mm. Sure, Liam. Whatever, the tigers are gone. Everyone liked your solution, and you get two plus fun for watching predators flee from insectivores. And you get one plus money since Polly and Vera bought the Yurator idea from you. <laughs> That day we spend some time on the library's PCs, mining some bitcoins. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it really works. Anyway, you gain two bitcoins, which is equal to two thousand- oh, two million dollars. Which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars, so two money. It's me! Scott Howell. <laughs> it's me, Scott it's Howell. Howell. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was such a funny entrance. I can't fucking remember his voice. It's been so long. Me either. Hey, Sharky. Did you know that there's a new student? Look, here he comes now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Well, folks, that's all we have time for today. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. Also, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, yeah. Not much more to say besides that. Anything to add, OG? As we get closer and closer to the prom, we have to start asking the real questions. Will we even get a date? Who will be our dates? Will it be Nicolas Cage? And which one of us will get to smooch the Cajunator? Tune in next time to find out. Many people fall during the battle. You can't take any more. So you volun- Valen- So you- Val- Val- Valen- 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 Valiantly. Val- Clinch- Chili. The Chilini. Chili! Ho! Chili it's me, Sonic! <laughs> <laughs> Many people fall during the battle. You can't take it.